Welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I'm your teacher, Aubrey Carter, and in today's video, you'll hear a sample part three answer with band nine vocabulary for the question, what makes a good painting? This vocabulary is so helpful anywhere on the IELTS exam when you're asked about art. This could come up in writing and every one of the speaking parts. So you need to be ready with high level vocab. And remember to go to allearsenglish.com slash IELTS quiz to take our free two minute quiz, get your estimated band score and free resources at your level. If you missed the previous video, I shared band nine vocab. You'll want to go back and check it out for a detailed description, but I shared the phrasal verb speaks to the very high level verbs evoke and depict as well as the adjective ethereal and then specific vocab for talking about the style of a painting. So I'm going to use all that in today's sample answer. So for the question, what makes a good painting? I think a painting really needs to speak to a person. So everyone has different tastes. Some like impressionistic paintings, some like more realistic paintings. The art that really speaks to me is anything that evokes a strong emotion and maybe calls to mind memories from childhood. So a landscape that's very impressionistic with broad brush strokes, if it has a very ethereal clouds in the sky, then I start just remembering, you know, laying on a grassy yard, staring up at the clouds as a child, and I get these peaceful, calming feelings. And these emotions make that art good for me. Whether someone else would think that a lot of talent or hard work went into that doesn't really matter. It speaks to me. And so I believe that makes it a good painting. But not only that, the image that's depicted would just be beautiful. You know, I'm, I'm imagining paintings I've seen before with a, you know, most of the painting is sky and it's just breathtaking how, how beautiful the light in the sky can be shown. And when it comes to brush strokes in a painting, I really like broad brush strokes, maybe done with a palette knife instead of small brush strokes because I love impressionism. I love to be able to use my imagination a little bit and have a painting just create an impression rather than realism, which looks more like a photograph. All right, this is a very high level answer. I'm using native interesting intonation and that high level band nine vocabulary. So practice answering this question about the types of paintings that you enjoy and be sure to like this video, leave a comment and share it with a friend. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com slash app.